Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. So anyway, now let's go make a card. Hello everybody! Today's card is actually kind of a part two from the video I did just on February 6, 2022, so like Sunday. And what I'm showing you is how I used the wax seals and these are custom wax seals using Stampin' Up! Refill Ink and Stampin' Up! Stamps. So go to the February 6, 2022 video where it sat, says, wow, Stampin' Up! Wax Seals. And I'll go through all the steps on the wax seal. So I made a bookmark, which I, this is like my first bookmark. I can't believe that. Um, and I also did a card using Honeybee Home, the 3D embossing folder, the Hive one, and of course it's dies. So uh, let me show you how I did the bookmark first. So the thing about bookmarks is you can really do anything, but there's a kind of a base of sizes. There's the two and a half by eight and a half, two by seven, and two by six. So I went with the two by seven, and then I used the fancy tag uh, topper punch on this one and I also used it on my sample here and also the detailed trio so I could round the corners and put in the punch marks here and I also used the uh, detailed tri trio on the bottom of the one that I used the fancy tag on so and then also I used the basic white as a base so I took basically this and I also cut the Heart and Home paper, which is part of the um, Honey Bee Home bundle, and it's sweet. So I took that paper and I cut two of them. Now, if I were to do this again, I would probably cut these all at the same time. So I would put all three papers in and I would punch them all at the same time so everything lined up perfectly but I didn't do that and it looks pretty okay so and then I also used the simply elegant trim which is the gold and silver and I did the tag here I wrapped this around and I'm going to show you what the card will actually make a wax seal and then I put the bumblebee trinket and I stamped this flower and if you watch the February 6 2022 video that says wow stamping up wax seals anyway I'll show I also used the flower from Sweet Strawberry, but if you look at that video, um, I'll show you how I, I made this color because this is actually Daffodil Delight. But this is a great way to use a wax seal, and I used just the Honey Bee Home uh, paper. So anyway, now let's do the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is make this wax seal and I'm using Stampin' Up! products except of course they don't make wax so I just use the cheap kind of wax which are the melts. You can probably get a much nicer wax seal if you use more expensive waxes but I just used what was cheap and you need to use white because we're going to color it with the Stampin' Up! ink refills. Now I would prefer you go back to the February 6th video and watch the whole thing there and then come to this and come back because this is just kind of a quickie. So I just went ahead and put about four melts in there because there was already some in there from before and we're going to let that melt first then put in the ink. But in the meantime the other thing you need to do is grab your Versamark because we're going to stamp the stamp which by the way you want to grab a stamp that is more solid than not. And this will make the best kind of impression on your wax seals. Now I showed you this in that other video and you can see the ones that are more solid just look better than like the um, Honey Bee Home, which this is the bee and you can't really tell it's a bee, but the flowers turn out well, the hearts um, and the butterfly, but um, you do need to grab a stamp that is got a lot of solid in it. And also I've got parchment paper because I would rather do all my wax seals prior to rather than doing them when you need them. Like I don't want to pour anything on here, find out I made a mistake or I wanted to move it and you know have to deal with that because it won't work. Um, also putting them on cards and basically if you go online, if you go on Etsy, um, 
there must become some kind of vendor relationship with people on Etsy to get these 3M uh, double-sided tapes. It's a 3M9448A and basically it's so you can put them on there and then use them later. Or, you know, I've been using glue dots and they've been working out pretty good. I'm also gonna grab my take your pick tool and as this melts, and there was already purple in there, um, I do wanna stir it up. And I'm gonna stir it up and make sure it's all melted. And then I'm going to grab some of the Blackberry Bliss. I'll just put in a, like one more ink drop. If, you, if it's totally white, you wanna put about three or four drops in there. But you know, every time you put in ink, it's gonna change the color a little bit. So however you like it. And I'm just gonna stir this up real well. And then I'm gonna take it on my parchment paper and I'm gonna make a circle. So I'm just gonna go around a circle and get it nice and smooth. Like I said, if you use better wax, it'll probably have a better result, but I just use something cheap. And this is the pearlized white. Okay, now I'm gonna take this flower, this was from Sweet Strawberry, put a bunch of Versamark on there and put it right over the wax. And then you're just gonna let it sit. sit. I'm gonna blow out my candle. Okay, I also got this on Amazon. It's a nice little candle holder. It keeps me, you know, from burning myself or setting the house on fire. Please don't do that. Be very careful. This video is not for children. Don't, you know, it involves fire. So don't, don't do anything bad. Um, the way you get your wax out of here is while it's hot, you need to take a paper towel and just wipe it out. And just be careful about burning yourself. So don't burn yourself. I'm gonna move everything to the side. And it really doesn't take all that long for this to really sit. I'm just gonna wait here. Now, I did use a bumblebee trinket on my wax here. And I put the one on the card with a glue dot. But I'm wondering if while it's still kind of hot, if I can go ahead and do it. Now, it's gonna pull that stamp right off the block, but you can just pull this right out and it looks really nice. So. I'm gonna go ahead and see, while it's still wet, if I can get it in there. No, I can't, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and put these on with just little glue dots. So just get a couple out and we'll stick them on the back. And, and that's how we made this wax seal. So now let's do the card. Now for the card, we're going to be using a five and a half by four and a quarter base, of course, and then uh, for the front, we're going to be using Bumblebee four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So how you make this folder is you've got the hive and it's a 3D embossing folder, which means you are going to need a 3D embossing folder plate. Now, uh, Stampin' Up! does have one in their annual catalog, but I don't think they're in stock. So you're going to have to go on like Sizzix or something, but you have to have this folder in order for this to work. So what you do is you just take your bumblebee paper and you're gonna spritz it with water front and back. These spritzers are great, they're in the catalog as well. And by the way, all my dimensions and everything, all the supplies that I've used is in the description of my video. So just click into the description and you can get everything that you need. So um, go ahead and put your spritz paper into the folder. And when you run it through your die cutter, like I have a Sizzix, and I put it on the third level, which is for embossing folders. And all you do is put this on, not a plate, that you don't use any plate, you just put it on that folder and this on top. So you need no plates, none of these, don't, don't even use them. So the folder, this on top and run it through. And of course, whenever you do an embossing folder, you do the fold into the machine, don't put the opening in. So this way, and I bring it back, and it comes out really pretty. This is a really cool uh, hive embossing folder. Now we can go ahead and put it on our card base. So, and what I ended up doing with this one, and I, I don't know if it was because I repositioned it, but it wasn't sticking too well because of all the little hive 
holes that you made in the thing. If you have a problem with it, use tear tape. So that's how you put on the folder. And then we're gonna get a piece of the DS paper, uh, the home, that is heart and home. And this goes with the honey bee set. And this one is gonna be cut three and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, and then we're gonna take the dies for the honeybee bundle and we're going to take the flower, two flowered one like this with the detail and the uh, grass. And then we're gonna use another kind of DS paper and it is called New Horizons. And this is this really cool um, like water colored paper that looks like that. And what I did is I took the green sheet and I'll show you which one I used. It's the one that has this on the back. Okay, so it looks like that. There's a darker one you can use, but I chose to use this one. And I liked how, you know, the colors vary rather than using a solid piece. Um, I like that one a lot more. And you're gonna take the two, the three pieces here and you're gonna cut all three pieces in those colors. So I just kind of laid them on the darker spots. And I did actually cut this uh, grass twice because there's one here and then part of one right here. And then we're gonna take, and we're gonna take the flowers and we're going to get a different piece of that New Horizon paper. And it's the one with uh, the dark purple on the back. So it looks like this. And this is the, the purple flower we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna show you those cuts I just made. So here's the tall grass dies, and here's the flowered in green and flower in purple. So we're gonna take the uh, green ones and put them down and take the purple. Now I did them one at a time, just because they're so small and they can be a little confusing. Um, grab, a pea, uh, grab a pair of really sharp scissors and you're gonna take the flower and you're gonna cut it off the purple one, okay? Then you're gonna grab Stampin' Up's Fine Tip Glue. I love this stuff. I, I never see anybody use it either and I'm afraid that Stampin' Up is gonna get rid of it, but it's amazing. This stuff is great for little teeny tiny stuff. And then grab one of the um, tweezers like this that kind of close themselves and I'm gonna grab that flower just so like this so when I lay it down my hand is naturally going this way and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna take the fine tip glue now if you haven't used it in a while you might use your, use your definitely use your uh, silicone craft sheet but I'm gonna take that and just get it working and then I'm gonna put little dots on the piece, the back of the piece. You can even like take it and dab it off a little bit just to make sure you don't have too much glue. And then I'm gonna take the green piece, the same green piece, and I'm gonna put it right on top of the green. So now the flower is purple. So then I'm gonna go to that same piece that I cut that top off and I'm gonna go to the next flower and I'm gonna pop that off and they get really, really small. And I'm gonna use all the little flowers, like on the smaller one, these teeny tiny little flowers. Yes, I cut those off and glued them on. So like I said, just grab your tweezers and put it in there, load it, all loaded up for you. You can even just dab it in the glue you've already got here on your silicone craft sheet and put it on like so. If you don't have one of these silicone craft sheets or you don't know what I'm talking about, Oh my gosh, this is the most, um, this is like one of the biggest tools that I have because it keeps my glass clean. If you're a scrapbooker, I, I was using this before I was doing cards. Um, I was using it for scrapbooking. It is awesome because it keeps everything clean. It washes off. You can mix like inks on it. It's, it's wonderful. And it's in the description of my video and there's a link. So you can click on the link, any of those links, it goes right to my Stampin' Up site and you can place an order. God forbid you place an order. <laughs> so please place an order. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and continue and lop off the heads of all these little flowers and glue them on and I'll be right back. And this is how all those little flowers look, uh, look like. 
So I even got the tiny little ones here too. So now that you've got your flowers all together, let's go ahead and put it on our piece of the DS paper. And this is that uh, heart and home. So it's this on the back, this on the front. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna go ahead and snail it because snailing is so easy. And I'm going to put on, I think, the biggest um, grass here first. And I'm just gonna stick it right here in the middle. And then I'm gonna grab the tall flower and put it right next to it. Actually, I'm gonna put on this other leaf first. Now I cut one of the ends off of the leaf, so it's not all three of them. Okay, and then now I'm gonna put the flower on top so the flowers kind of go over those leaves and then the last flower here just nail it all up and this is why the look at that silicone craft sheet right on it and i mean there's nothing so it's awesome and i'm just going to put this one here like so now the tag that i used is from a uh, rectangle stitched frames and it's this one that's kind of lonesome by itself i went ahead and just stamped it on uh, basic white and I used Bumblebee and I used Miss You from the stamp set, the Honey Bee Home stamp set right here, Honey Bee Home. And I'm gonna put this to the side and go ahead and stamp this up and it fits really, fits really well. I mean, it's always good to have some basic stuff, some circles, some rectangles and stuff like that. So, and that's what it looks like. To put this all together now before I do don't forget I'm gonna be doing the inside so don't leave yet so also I give away the demo card every single one of my videos you can get a demo card but you have to do this here's the trick how you get a card in the comments say I want to win a demo card you have to be a first-time subscriber so like subscribe and put in the comment I would like to win the demo card and put in your email address or go and email me directly, noreen at joyofcards.com, and I'll let you know if you won the card. So every card that I do uh, gets uh, given away. So I'm gonna go ahead and snail this piece, and I'm gonna put it on the card, just right there in the middle. Then I'm going to take that wax seal. Now, I know that those 3M tapes work really well, and I think that's more for mailing purposes. And you know, the thing about wax seals and mailing is they can't be over a quarter of an inch, anything that goes to the mail on an envelope. So this is like pushing it big time. And I think a lot of these cards that have wax seals, you should either just hand deliver them or you can go through the line at the post office and get a canceled stamp on it. So they don't go through the machines and get roughed up. I would also put it in an envelope and then when you mail it, put it inside of another envelope. So double envelope it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I put a couple of um, glue dots on there and it sticks pretty well, just like that. And then on my silicone craft sheet, I've already taken the tapes off of dimensionals and see, it doesn't stick, it's awesome. So I can get this ready to put on my card just like so. So that's the front of the card. Now let's do the inside. Now for the inside, I'm gonna uh, have some bumblebee, four by five and a quarter, basic white, three, seven, five by five. And I grabbed the big flower from Honeybee Home here, and I'm just going to stamp it up. Now the block I have it on is H. And I don't use H a lot, but when I do, I really do. It's really, if you don't have an H block, you might wanna get one, especially if you're like a demonstrator. And I love my demonstrators. Like, subscribe, you can win the demo card. I do not discriminate. So I've gone ahead and inked that up, and then I'm gonna grab the little bumblebee from the set, and I'm gonna put that one right there. And now let's color. So in this, the leaves are gonna be in the light old olives. So I'm just going to fill in all the leaves here real quick and get those in. 
I'm not even going to highlight them because they're so small that it just really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to take light Blackberry Bliss and dark Blackberry Bliss. So the first thing I'm going to do is color all the flowers in the light Blackberry Bliss. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to take the dark Blackberry Bliss and just give it a little bit of an outline um, on the line part or toward the bottom just to give it a little bit of definition just to make it look cool and just like so now I'm gonna take the dark daffodil delight and just fill in the B and then we'll be all ready to go ahead and put it on the daffodil here and get it inside the card don't forget if you're a first-time subscriber like subscribe say you want to win the demo card give me your email i can't contact you without your email address so i can get your mailing address and get this to you so um and also don't forget all the dimensions all the links to my direct stampin up site if you would like to place an order are there if you need the new january to june mini catalog which is this is from go ahead and email me at noreen at joyacards.com or just put it in a comment i would like the new mini catalog and leave your email so i can get your address so but that will do it for me thanks bye